Hey what's up guys welcome back to my uh, youtube channel and uh, in this flutter tutorial we will see how can we implement uh, dynamic theming inside our application so there can be uh, some point where you want uh, inside your app to have this feature to enable or disable the dark theme or you can have like a multiple themes option so in this video we will see how we can change the theme from light to dark and dark to light um, at runtime so this is the tutorial all, all about and before proceeding uh, if you're not the subscriber then please do subscribe to the channel and also press that uh, bell icon to get uh, notification in future and also you can check my github repository if i will show you uh, this is my github repository where we have flutter example apps and flutter ui kit where you will get a lot of option everything is open sourced and then we have this let's flutter group on facebook which you can join and here you can ask your question and definitely someone will uh, give some answers to those questions okay so let's uh, go back to code and here we are so this is a normal uh, boilerplate uh, which you get uh, while creating your app and i have cleaned this main dot dot so there is no code uh, written inside this uh, particular file as of now so what we are going to do first of all we are importing material dot 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 library and then we are using this void main method and uh, here we will run the app and we can say my app okay and now we need to make this my app class so we can use a stateless widget i'm using the shortcut and here we have this stateless widget which will actually return material app okay and inside this material app we can have a theme right so we can say a theme data dot light as of now and then we can have something called home where we can have a home page okay and now here we can again make a home page so uh, home page sorry for the background noise um, i'm really sorry for that and here we can have this scaffold where we will have an app bar and the app bar will have a title first of all so one second um, this title we can say something like dynamic theme okay and then uh, we can have something in body so in the center we can have a child where we can say a text uh, let's say hello world would be fine okay and then um, that's all right and then let's uh, do something let's uh, use a drawer property for this widget and we will have a drawer widget here we will have a child in which we will pass the list because what we want we want a switch so that when we um, enable that particular switch so then dark mode should be enabled and if we disable it that light mode should be enabled so that's what we can do and in the children we can have a list tile where we can have a title so i'm not explaining all of this because i have already explained in uh, my videos so you can check other videos if you have problem uh, with this so we have a title here uh, which is dark theme and in the trailing we can have another widget which will be a switch and uh, let's say the value is false by default let's say and on changed we are doing something let's say um, it is saying changed theme and uh, we will do something okay so now let's run this app once and see what we get so this is the approach i guess you might be following and uh, uh, this is how you are working with your app so let's see what we get with this and then we will see how we can you know uh, have that feature working okay so um this is taking some time this will take around maybe 30 seconds more or not 30 10 more seconds i guess okay and um here it is so we have this dynamic theme and here hello world we have a drawer but now you can see that this dark theme is by default disabled but if i enable it nothing actually happened and if we go back then this is again disabled so the thing is like whenever we will click on this button we want to change the theme that means we want to change the state of this app okay so uh, for that purpose what we need to do we need to convert this uh, uh, my app class 
from a stateless widget to a stateful widget okay which means this my app class is right now um, uh, extended this uh, stateless widget that means that the parent is stateless widget we need to convert it to a stateful widget so what we can do we can write directly say here convert okay and uh, now we have this stateful widget now what we can do here um we can set the state but the problem is this like uh, how we will reach to this point where we are uh, like if we set the state fro from per this particular portion then this uh, widget tree would be rebuilt only okay let's see how what i meant to say so in this home page uh, here let's say we have a variable we can say bool and uh, we can say dark theme enabled okay and we can make it by default false and we we can check here whether this uh, dark theme and is enabled or not okay and then what we can do if this is enabled then we can directly say theme data dot dark otherwise we can say theme data dot light okay but the problem is like let's let's also pass this dark theme enabled here and here we can uh, again have this particular field here and then we can receive it through the constructor let's say and yeah so we have this dark theme now and now uh, we can assign the value of for this and here we can change this dark theme enabled is equal to changed theme and uh, the problem would be okay what's the issue okay which it should not be final of course so we can make it variable and then okay that is fine and now if i will do something here nothing is working why and let's just uh, re restart this particular application hot restart would be sufficient and now if i will click on it nothing still happened why because um we first of all not setting the state and even if we set the state let's say we are saying here uh, set state although it is a stateless widget so set state will not work so what we can do to make it work we can um rather than using this particular portion as a class one option is what we can do we can just uh, delete all this part okay in fact uh, this one as well okay and uh, this one as well and then here what we can do we can say home page home page okay and here we can pass um variable or bool dark theme enabled one second okay and now we will have access to the set state because this is a part of okay so this this should not be here as well so what we can say we can just remove this part of code and put it here and now here we can we can use the set state and we can just um, paste this code from here to here and now if we will go here and if we enable this then this should be dark theme now okay so we need to restart once i guess and let's just uh, restart it so one second okay so now if we go here and if we press it nothing is actually happening still why this is happening dark theme enabled is equal to changed theme which is fine i guess and uh, it should work isn't it and uh, yeah it should work but this is not working i don't know why one second guys false okay we change this switch is still not working what 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 the hell okay we have this okay 
and this is uh, okay so the problem is that when we call set state this is just rebuilding this particular scaffold rather than this material app so that is the issue and uh, what we need to do we can um, either we can make this like this and we can remove this part and now if I will just uh, click on it then you can see the dark theme has been enabled but this does not look like a better solution to me right because um, this is not how you can manage this particular uh, part and uh, we need something better than this okay so what we can do in this situation we can um let's just copy this particular portion from here okay and just uh, okay now in this scenario what we can use we can use something like streams and that can be very useful for us for implementing this feature although we were able to achieve this but still we need some callbacks and everything like that if you want to you know make different classes and then if you want to break this code otherwise if you need to have everything inside this particular class which is my app state and that can be really really painful okay so what we can do here we can again we will make another uh, let's say stateless widget which will be again my app and here we will have the material app okay and uh, we can have some theme data let's say light and in the home portion we can have this particular portion okay and uh, we can just delete this portion of code okay so this is what we have as of now and uh, what we are going to do we can have another class here which we can say block that's fine and what we can do from here we can have um, something like call a theme controller so let me just make it theme controller okay and uh, we need something called stream controller okay and there are, there can be more than one option to do this okay but uh, this this i found the most uh, easy way to do and here we can have some getters let's say first can be uh, change theme so we can say theme we can say theme controller dot so if you don't know what i am doing then you should probably watch my block tutorial and uh, here you can see this is our change theme and what we can say we can have another stream this time dark theme enabled okay and uh, it will be theme controller dot stream okay so this is our block where we have a change theme and we have a dark theme enabled now we can make a global um, instance of this class so that we can access it from anywhere and uh, yeah so now we have this block block and which is an instance of block class and this block has some uh, streams and now what we can do we can um here we can wrap it with a new widget which we can say stream builder okay and here we have a stream so we can use this block dot and we can have uh, this dark theme enabled okay we will get that value it will be in boolean true or false okay and then it has another property which is builder which takes a context and a snapshot snapshot is the data which it will give to you and if it if it ha it will have that data and then here in the theme we can check what we can check if snapshot dot data if it has data which means that we should have dark theme otherwise it should be false then we can have light theme okay and here the switch value would be the same of snapshot dot data if it is true then it will be true otherwise it will be false and on change on on change what we can do we can just delete this piece of code and we can use block dot change theme okay and it will pass the value to this particular portion 
and now if I restart this app okay something will not work okay so the problem is that we don't have any um, initial value so we can say initial data is false which means uh, by by default our theme would be um, light okay so snapshot dot data would be false by default so this is what we can do and now you can see our app is working now and now what we can see here we can just go here and if I click and you can see the dark theme is enabled and if I click here again and you can see so this is a much better approach now you must be wondering again we have the same hierarchy what the different we did okay so now let's just uh, uh, use this particular portion of the code and just cut it and let's say this is a home page okay now what we will do we will make another stateless widget where we can say a home page and then we can just paste that particular portion of the code okay and uh, here we can pass this data and you can use inherited widget if you don't want to pass this data okay and uh, then we can have here boolean dark theme enabled okay and then in the home page we can have this dot dot theme enabled okay so this is the portion here and here we can say dark theme enabled now if i will uh, restart this code this restart this application then again we have the same thing and now if I will click here and click on here you can see the theme has been enabled and the good thing and the good part is like uh, we haven't used stateful widget and this this code looks fine to me and this is even simpler and rather than passing this data to, to this particular constructor you can use inherited widget to access it anywhere so that's how you can perform this uh, uh, dynamic theming so this is it guys I will upload this code to the github and you can check it from there and that's it so I, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber join the facebook group also start the github repositories thank you so much and I'll see in the next video bye bye take care and have a good time